Hello everyone, this is Grade 3, Module 6, Lesson 3 Homework. For number 1, it says, this table shows the favorite subjects of 3rd graders at Cayuga Elementary. We see that math has 18, ELA has 13, history has 17, and then science has a question mark. So below it says use the table to color the bar graph and we can see right now that science is already in there and each line is going to represent two going up so each box is two so for science I have two four six eight ten twelve fourteen so I'm gonna write that right in my chart and I can see now that uh, science has 14, history 17, ELA 13, and math with 18. And of course, math is going to have the highest number of votes. So let's take a look down and let's start filling this in. So math has 18, so I'm going to draw and color in up to here. This is 18. And I'll try to do this the best that I can. And I'm just going to shade in so you can see it. My next one is ELA with 13. So here's 12, and here's 14. So I'm going to have to split one of these in half uh, between 12 and 14. So I'm going to draw a line straight across, and then bring it down. And I'll shade this one as well. And then my last one, history which is 17 so again I'm gonna be between 16 and 18 so I gotta go halfway between and I'm gonna bring them straight down and I'll shade those in and what I'm gonna do for these is I'm gonna write the number at the top that I have and circle it that'll help me out I know that uh, the number of boxes is going to tell me uh, how many there are, but if I write it in circle, then I can just look at it and refer back to it quick. A says, how many students voted for science? Well, I did that already. Um, that's 14, and I just counted by twos going all the way up. So 14 students voted for science. How many more students voted for math than for science? Write a number sentence to show your thinking. And I know just by looking up ahead I, above I see I have 18 for math and 14 for science. So 18 for math, 14 for science. We want to know how many more voted so we're going to find the difference. And that's going to be 4. So then I would plug in my number sentence there. And there it is. Four more students voted for math than for science. C says, which gets more votes, math and ELA together or history and science together? Show your work. So I know with math and ELA, i got to figure out first, math has 18, ELA has 13. Now I want to take a look at history and science, and I know history has 17, science has 14. So what I'll do now is I'm just going to add math and ELA, and then history and science. And I know for math and ELA, 8 plus 3 is 11, and I'm going to carry my 1, or my 10, sorry, my group of 10, and then I'll get 3 groups of 10, so I got 31. Over for history and science, 4 and 7 make 11, so I'm going to carry or uh, bundle my group of 10. So now I have 1, 10, 2, 3, tens, which is 30. So it looks to me like they are both the same. So my answer statement, neither got more votes. Each sum is, is equal to 31, so they are equal. Let's take a look at page 2. And on page two, as we zoom in, 
Question two says, this bar graph shows the number of liters of water Skylar uses this month. And we can see that each uh, box is going to be worth 10 liters. So when we go halfway in between, that's going to be a 5. So what I'm going to do here is I'll answer these questions as we're going through, and then we'll write in our totals at the end. So the first question says, during which week does Skylar use the most water? And I'm looking for the bar that is farthest to the right. And I can see that that's week four. And then the least I can see is right here. So that's week three. How many more liters does Skylar use in week four than in week two? So in week four, it's halfway between 60 and 70, so that's going to be 65. And then for week two, it's right to this point, so it's 50. And if I want to know how many more, I'm trying to find the difference. And I know that it's going to be 15. And there's my answer statement there. Skylar uses 15 more liters of water in week four than in week two. So let's take a look now down to C. Write a number sentence to show how many liters of water Skylar uses during week two th and three combined. So if I'm talking about the word combine, it's going to mean addition. So I want to first look for two and then for three. And I see two is right there at 50 and 3 is at 40. So I have 50 and 40 and I'm looking to combine these. And that'll equal if I have 4 tens and 5 tens I then have 9 tens or 90. So uh, my answer statement there it is. Skylar uses 90 liters of water in weeks 2 and 3 combined. Let's take a look at D, and it says, how many liters does Skylar use in total? So what we're going to do is we're going to go up and we're going to see how many liters Skylar used for each week. And now I'm going to take these, 55, 50, 40, 65, and I'm just going to add those. So these two fives are going to make a group of 10, and I'll bring it up, and then I'm going to count up all my 10s here, and I have 6 and 4 is 10, plus 5 is 15, plus another 5 is 20, plus 1 is 21. So Skylar uses 20, 210 liters total. Now, for the last part, if Skylar uses 60 liters in each of the four weeks next month, will she use more or less than she uses this month? So, the first thing I have to figure out is uh, how much total she's going to use. And so, for the next four weeks, she's going to use 60 liters in four weeks. So um, I'm going to write it like that. Four groups or four weeks of 60 liters. And that just means 60 plus 60 plus 60 plus 60. And really I have six tens here. So four times six is 24. And then my zero makes it tens. So 240. Um, so I have to answer my question. Will she use more or less? And there's my answer sentence. Skyler will use more water next month than this month. Because she's using 240 next month, she just used 210 this month. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps, and good luck on your homework.